Hi, this is Julie. In our last video, we looked at how to write numbers with words um, when the number was less than 1,000. In this video, we're going to look at doing the same thing, but for numbers that are greater than 1,000. So before we look at some examples, let's review again and uh, look at some features of the place value chart and how place values work. Um, so again, remember that we always have this repeating pattern of ones, tens, and hundreds. So we have these cycles, or actually what we call periods, of ones, tens, and hundreds. And that repeats, um, it starts with the basic ones, tens, hundreds group, and then repeats for 1,000, 10,000, 100,000, and then repeats again for the millions, 1 millions, 10 millions, 100 millions, and then it's not shown here, but it would repeat again for the billions and the trillions and each of the larger place value groups. Um, and so what we'll want to keep in mind is that repeating one tens hundreds, and then we also want to keep in mind sort of the, the big order of the groups, which is that we have um, basically the hundreds groups, we have thousands, we have millions, then we have billions, and then trillions, which is not shown on here. Um, and then also the other thing to pay attention to is in between each of those groups or periods, we put commas, and that's going to be really helpful when we're um, writing really big numbers here. So let's look at an example. So what we're going to do is for each sort of section of the number, we're going to follow the same rules that we used before for writing one, two, and three digit numbers, and then we're going to write the name of that section or period. Um, so let's look at the first example here is a, a shorter number. We've got the number uh, 1,800 39. So I'm going to actually write that out just like I read it. I'm going to start off with, I've only got 1,000, so I'm going to start off by writing the number 1,000. And then just like when I'm writing the number, um, when I write out in words, I'm going to go ahead and put a comma in here, and that'll make it easier to read later on. It'll also help me sort of keep my place um, in the number. So what I'm going to look at now is what comes after 1,000. Well, what comes after 1,000 is the number 839, and I know how to write that out. Um, I write out that I have 800. And then 39, I write with a hyphen. So now I have the number 1839. And again, I apologize for my sloppy handwriting here. But let's look at a little bit longer number. Um, one thing that I can see is I can pay attention with, the, so I've got the number 38,715. And I'm going to pay attention to this comma here, and that's going to help me break up the number. Um, I can see that what comes after the comma is just the last three digits of the number, and so I know that that's the ones, tens, and thousands place. And I know that what comes before the comma is going to be in that thousands period. And so if I look at how many thousands I have here, I have 38 thousands. And that's what I'm going to write out here. And because the number 38 is in between 21 and 99, I'm going to put a hyphen there. So I've got 38,000. And I'm just going to put thousand rather than thousands because that's how we normally read it. So I have 38,000 comma, just like in the number. And then I have 700. and uh, 715. And 15 uh, is just written with one word, so I don't need a hyphen there. Um, so that's how I would write out the word name for that big number, 38,000 comma 715. Let's look at a few more. So here we've got an even bigger number. Now this time I've got three digits in the thousands places and three digits um, that come after the comma in the hundreds places. So if I were to read this number, I would say that I have the number 820,286. So again, notice I'm reading the number 820, then I'm saying the name of the group that it's in or the period that it's in, which is thousand and then I'm reading the rest of the number, 286. So to write this one out, I would say that 
this is 800 20 again just one word there 1000 and then just like in the number I'm going to put a comma uh, and then I'll write out the last part of the number there. So again, here's my number 820, just like I have before the comma. Here's the group, 1000, and I've got my comma, and then I'm going to write 200. And I'm running out of room here, so I'm going to put 86 just kind of down below. And 86 is a, a two-word number that's between 21 and 99, so this one does get a hyphen in it. All right, uh, one more example here, which is a really large number. This one goes, uh, it goes into three periods. So we've got the seven is in the millions period. Then we've got some thousands, and then we have some hundreds. So again, I'm going to just break this up. Um, in the first group here, I have seven million. So that's what I'm going to write. I'm going to put a comma after 7 million, just like there's a comma in the number. And then I'm going to write out the number that's in this middle period here, 296. So 200... six, and again, hyphen there. And now I need to write out the name of the group there, the period, and that is 1000. put another comma and then I'm going to write the last part of the number here which is 800 uh, 30 and so now I've written out the number and if I read it out loud it should look just like the way that I read the number when I read it 7,296,830 so that uh, kind of wraps up our example of how to write out numbers with words. In our next video, we'll take a look at uh, going the opposite direction and taking word numbers and writing them in standard form.